All right, in this video, we are going to look at how to validate an email on bubble.io. So this would be useful if say, I have a group of emails I wanna validate before sending emails, or if I want to validate emails before users are signing up so they can't sign up with a fake email. Um, this utilizes a built-in uh, API call. And basically what it does is it says, hey, does this email exist? Is it real? Um, kind of like you'd wanna know, is someone's address real before you would send them a postcard? So let's take a look. Does this exist? It says valid. That's what we're trying to get to here. Now let's add some stuff to make sure it shows it doesn't work. And that says it doesn't exist. So let's look at how this works because it's a pretty simple way to do it. And uh, you don't even really need to have it show the reasoning for most uh, use cases inside of an application. Usually inside an application, you just put invalid email, please enter a real email address. And then you would just disable like a submit a submission button. So this is as simple as it needs to be. I have a text box for entering an email. I don't need to do anything with that text box. And I have a, here I have just ballot. But for all this to work, I need it to have the right plugin. So for my plugins, I'm gonna do email validator. So for adding plugins, you just click on the add plugins button. Bubble has one built in already. You can just click on it and go to add email plugin and do uh, email validator from uh, Bubble. Pretty simple to add. To add that, you just click install. As you can see, I already have it added. We don't need to do anything here with that. Um, and as far as getting that to work, all we're gonna use it for is doing calls. So inside of valid here, I have it set up where it does not show on page load. I just wrote valid and I did conditional. So element is visible and I have the font color change when it's true. So what I'm doing here is, Complete this and rebuild it. All right, get data from external API. The API I want is check if an email address exists. The email I want is going to be from the input here, this value. And now what I want to do is validate it. And I have to click a yes or a no. So is it valid? Yes. If it's valid, I want it to say the word valid and I want it change to color green and I want it to be visible. So that's all that functionality is there. The invalid email part is a little bit more to it. I have a similar function here, but I have the font color that's gonna be red. And I have that if it's no, so exact same setup here, except I changed the color to red. So, if, but what's different is when I did this bottom part, I did, I just wrote the word invalid email. And then I did a data from external API. Let's check to see if this email exists. This is the email still from the spot above. When we do that, let's grab the reason. And the reason is going to be the one from the uh, the ping. Like it's going to go and look and say, does this exist? Why doesn't it exist? Maybe it doesn't exist at that domain. Maybe it just doesn't exist in general, but it'll tell us the reason why it doesn't exist. And that was as simple as making it work. So now we can type in stuff to see if it works. So see, no email provided. Obviously it doesn't work. But if I type in, just type in stuff and see if it works, it doesn't work. Type it. 
I would guess there's a Joe at Gmail. It's not apparently. I wonder if they went and they actually just took a whole bunch of first names and they just took them all and said these no one can get these tested. It makes sense that Google would take. Um, that one's valid. That one's not me. Don't know whose it is, but it's valid. It's taken by somebody else. So if you're going out and you're getting a lot of emails and you want to check them before you send them to make sure you're not sending them and getting a lot of bounces and hurting your email reputation, good little tool to have. Um, also good because you can use this in a couple ways. So I can take that and I can say, I'm going to make a button. Sign up. So that it creates an account, right? For this, I'm just going to have it do, I'll have it do nothing for now but I'll show you the reasoning why it's important because I can have it be um, when data from external API and value validated is no, we can make this element not clickable for one. We could just make this element not visible we could change the text. So the text, instead of being sign up, we could change it to please sign up. And then we could make it, yeah. So we'll make it so you can't click on it and it changes it to a valid email. And we can also change the font color to red. So let's do that. So I'm gonna go sign up for your website. I'm gonna sign up for your program. I try to use an invalid email. Maybe I do it on accident. I do probably help if I made this visible on page load, huh? It is. Why isn't it showing up? I unchecked element is visible when they have an invalid email. That would be why. There we go. So right now, please use a valid email to sign up. Um, sign up like that. Let's say I change it. I right, misspell my email. Boom, please use a valid email. Not clickable. So. It's useful to be able to have those types of things inside of an app when you're letting people just submit things or uh, maybe you have, you're not even creating an email. Maybe you have like a lead form that's going in and someone's becoming a lead and you want to make sure that that email address is real. You can do a, uh, um, about have it go through a validation process to ensure you're using a real email address opposed to just being able to submit a lead and get maybe get sort of content without uh, going through a validation process. So useful stuff. And what I mean by that is say you have content on a page um, and you push this button, give them your information, you push this button, you get this information, right? So you get like a free ebook or you get to access to the video and in exchange for that, you had to give your phone number, your email address. Well, um, this can at least go in and validate and say, hey, is this a real email address? A lot of people put in fake email addresses for those, and those are bad leads and they're basically garbage. And if people are gonna do that, you obviously don't want them to have access to your free content. So helpful stuff.